Hey, good morning friends. My name is Chelsea. If you're new to this channel, my channel's name is Steppin' Stone. So today's video, I'm going to be doing it on how I dye my hair red, fire red. Um, obviously it doesn't look very fire red right now. This is about three months out. I haven't dyed it in a little while. My roots, I don't know if you can tell, my roots are showing. I am nat naturally blonde and um it's definitely over overdue to re-dye so i was going to show you how i do that and the products i use and give you um a little bit of background on what i used to use um i had first started dyeing my hair out with chemical products and those were making me sick for about two three days and um I'm very chemical free so I had to find a natural alternative so I had found henna and I was using um, a wine red color so the pros on that I love the color it was absolutely beautiful and um, it would make my hair thicker and stronger and I loved it the cons about that is though when I would sweat I would have orange sweat coming down my face or if it would rain or every time I'd wash it it'd be all over the place it would be all over my bath towels um, so it's kind of a hassle and when it would fade out it would be kind of like a orange bronze color which was not very attractive so then I went to the store and um, was researching on other color alternatives and I found this so this um, color right here, this is Fire Red. It's all plant-based and um, no harsh chemicals or anything in it. Let's see if I can show you. Here's the back of it. <clears throat> so this is what it is. Let's see. Here's the chemical list, what it does not have in there. Anyways, so. This is what I use. Obviously my hair is getting a whole lot longer. It's about down to here. And I used to have chin length hair and now I'm just growing it out. So it takes two boxes to dye my hair. And I will be showing you guys how I do that. So this is the before of what it looks like. Pretty faded out, which I love this stuff. It, it just washes right out like when you go to dye your hair like this and you do all your edges and everything and most of the time you have like all these dyed up edge marks and stuff, this stuff washes right off your scalp. You don't even see it. Like you can dye it and, and go and do whatever you need to do without having those marks around your head. Um, I do still put some conditioner around the edges just in case but it washes right out. It does not stain anything so you don't get it. It doesn't stay in your countertops or your sink or your bathtub or things like that. It doesn't stay in your towel. It washes right out. Um, let's see, what other good things? Oh, doesn't smell, doesn't have any harsh chemicals that like get in your head and then make me have a headache or make you sick. Um, the color turns out absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, when it does fade out, I do work in the sun, so when it does fade out, it fades to this color so so many people actually think that this is my natural hair color until you start to see all my blonde roots coming out so um it fades out to a really nice color um and what else yeah so i definitely recommend that company um because i think it's a really great hair dye and they have really great colors too a little bit on the expensive side if it's not on sale they're about 18 dollars a box Woo! But when they're on sale, it takes off $5 each box. So I end up paying a whole lot less. I try to buy them whenever they're on sale. So we should probably go inside, get everything prepped and ready, and get to dyeing my hair. So enjoy the video and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I do is put on a t-shirt that I don't really care about. Um, and then I put my hair up into a ponytail that way I can do all my edges first and then I'll take it down to do the rest of I'll do the roots and then I'll come down and do the rest of my hair so I'll just go ahead and put it all up get it out of the way and then took off my necklace that way that doesn't get dyed 
even though I'm pretty sure it would wash out. And then I get all my area all prepped up, take all my stuff out. I actually prep both bottles of stuff to get that ready. And so we're gonna do that. And let's see. Thing. Maybe I don't. So of course, and I keep the boxes that way. I can put all the trash into the boxes, and I can also put everything that I use the the tubes and stuff in there. Um, of course, you get the shampoo and the conditioner. I don't use the shampoo. I will put the conditioner on, just not on my scalp. You get your little pair of gloves, which I wish that they would come with gloves either in two sizes or not these gigantic gloves. Um, they're just huge. I wish they were more, fit your hands a little bit tighter. And then it comes with your bottle um, of your stuff that you pour in, you mix and you shake it up really well. So, don't even need to open that one. Okay, so I will take the lids off of these, get them all mixed up, shake them up for a couple minutes. Um, I'll also show you some really cool tips that I've learned over the years of um, doing my hair. And let's get started. So, first thing I'll do, I really thought, I'll use this. Even though I don't use conditioner and shampoo, I do keep some in my shower just in case of anything or for any other people that come and visit. So I'll be using this Alba um, Hawaiian conditioner and I'll take a little bit of this on my hands and I'll go across and do all my edges everywhere. It does smell good. And this stuff being natural does not affect uh, my skin by putting it on there because I, I put it on kind of thick to where you can see it Definitely want to cover your ears Get them all juiced up Behind your ears your neckline You can pretty much feel where your hair is at where it's not after you dye it so often um, I used to do it every two months this time I've let it go quite a long time before I've dyed it. Um, probably won't, won't do that again. Um, but I've also been trying to grow it out. So it's kind of cool that you're able to see like how fast your hair is growing by what your roots are looking like. So my hair is definitely growing um, a half an inch or a little more um, per month which is good. Um, most, the average is a half an inch. So, got all the conditioner on, all my areas. And, I'll wash that off. This stuff smells so good. Plumeria smells super good. But, I like having all my own natural oils in my hair, so I don't use that. Another tip you can do is if you wanna use a leave-in conditioner, you buy your organic or vegan um, hair care products, your conditioner, you can take a little spray bottle, just a little pump sprayer, and you can pour a little bit of your conditioner inside, like only fill it up like maybe a half an inch with conditioner, depending on the bottle size, and then add warm water, and then just shake it up really, really well till you don't see the conditioner anymore. And then you can use that every single time as much as or often as you would like. And you can use that as a leave-in conditioner instead of going out and buying like expensive ones. Um, just use your favorite conditioner and shake it up and then you will have your own bottle of leave-in conditioner. Or if your ends get dry, your hair gets dry, or you even have like, um, like 
frizzies or flyaways or whatever you want to call it, you can then use um, that stuff in your hair and it really, really helps out. So then, it's time to shave. Now hit it on the counter, that way the little stuff that gets stuck up here in the top comes down so that it's not just one of the products or the other, you're really getting it mixed in. That way you have both bottles ready if you have long hair, so you're able to do all your edges and your roots, the other bottle's already ready. That way they're both processing at the same time, so you don't have one processing over the other or have to stand there and wait and you know you want to get this stuff in your hair as quickly as possible i like to do the full extent on my hair which is like 40 45 minutes um and what's awesome is you don't have to use any bleach or anything so which i wouldn't be dyeing my hair if i had to use that so time to put on the gloves I do put on both gloves because I use both hands. Oh, another little trick that I like to do. If you get your hands just a little bit wet, the gloves will stick to your hands a whole lot better instead of like slipping around. So that's kind of another thing. Like they stick right on. Whereas if you don't use water, they kind of just slide around or they'll be puffy. Like this one, that kind of sucked. This one just broke. So, I will have to get, these things are pretty cheap. That's probably about the only cheapest thing that comes in this, are the gloves. I don't really care for the gloves. And now, because I already have the other glove on, there we go. All right, so let's get out the other gloves. I dyed my hair so much that I have lots of little packets of this shampoo and conditioner. I don't know why I keep it, but in case somebody wanted to use some, I don't know, good smelling, um, plant-based conditioner. Okay, so this is all on. Now we are going to go ahead and do all of our edges. So I do keep time on how long it takes to put on my hair. So it's at 9.50. Give us one more shake. And let's get started. Give me just a minute. Okay, so we're back to the video. My dogs were outside barking in the kennel and I'm like, what the heck's going on? Because they were barking like somebody was in the yard. And it was a turtle on the other side of the fence. So I had to take the turtle, it was a water turtle, and pick it up, and it was probably about that big, and walk over, put it in the pond, put it at the edge. It was really thirsty, or you could tell that we haven't had rain in a really long time. It's dry, the pond is down, so. As soon as that turtle found out it was close to the water, what did it do? It just dove right in and swam off. So I had to save the turtle, had to stop the dogs from barking. Now we can continue on dyeing my hair and showing you how I do it. Okay, so once again, now that we've, oh crap. Well, I forgot that that was already open. So now I gotta clean up a tiny bit of a mess. That was lovely. See what happens? Good thing is, is this stuff does not stain anything. Take out a little bit of extra toilet paper in case we need it. This one's got the lid. I can shake that one. All right. So, time to get started on the edges. So I just take it and start on a little spot. I do all the edges first. Get all those baby hairs in there. Oh 
I was putting this off. I was actually supposed to dye my hair. When was it? Friday. I was going to do it. But then I thought, you know, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to do it. I get a little time. Because I knew then after I go and do this, I would have to then go and edit the video. Get it all put together. Most times, too, I'll go over after I get all this on, and I'll go over and I'll do um, all of my edges one more time just to make sure. I don't really use a mirror because I'm good at doing things backwards, and I can feel where my hair is. And I can look in the mirror and then at the end I'll clean up everything, all the edges and stuff, before I let it all sit. So. It's already, if you can see, let's see, where's the color at? It's not doing it. There we go. It's already starting to darken up. So, I got all my edges done. Now I will be taking out the hair tie and letting down my wild mane because it's pretty dang wild today. I always make sure that I don't rinse my hair out for a couple days just to let it get um, nice and where... Are you serious? Now I just hit the ceiling. And why is that? Because I live in a fifth wheel. It's not like I have really tall ceilings. And then I just start on one side of my head and I'll like squirt. Oh crap, now I got on my face. You know, I've never made this many mistakes, but hey, you know what? I'm human. And I'll just squirt this in all of my cracks. Squish it all in. And I have a little kitten by my foot because I still have five little kittens. So, if anybody knows of anybody that wants a kitten, just let me know. They're about six weeks now, and they're quite a handful. I've had to go and kitten-proof my house because they gar jump into the garbage can. They climb all over my couch and sleep behind my pillows. They now have found out how to jump and climb, so they're climbing around here right now. Um, kind of the pain in the butt, but I love them. They're super cute, but I've got to find homes for them. So, I make sure I get all the roots. That's super important. So I use one bottle on the roots. I'll tap it in the sink so I can get down the rest of the stuff. And now it's really, really getting dark. I love this color when it's all done. I went back into the store that I get this from 
because the girls in there are always like, when I check out, they're like, wow, you're going to do your hair red, fire red? I'm like, yeah, well, that's what color it is now, except for it's all faded out. So they always want me to come back in the store and show them my hair. So not, then what I do is I've got all the roots done. So I want to massage and work all that around really well and get a really nice coat because my roots were quite long. And I'll get that worked in. And after I do, now I just got it on my arm. And after I do that, I'm ready to do the rest of my hair. And then whatever's left, I'll put back up on the top again and really moisten it up because I want it moist. And then I'll put a bag over it so that it holds all the heat in so that it can really process well. I just love this stuff. It smells great. There's no burning. There's no chemicals. This stuff is awesome. So now, time for round two. I'm going to take that top off. No, I'm not getting dye in my mouth. At least I hope I'm not. And I'll pull my hair over to the side and I'll just start squeezing it and rubbing it, massaging it into my hair. I'll do one side and then I'll do the other side. And you don't want to do it so much where you're pulling it down and you've got these globs and then globs of it. It's just like falling out onto the floor everywhere. And then watch it go and say that and then it happens. I'll try to get anything that's dry to get hair dye on it. Okay, so I've got that side pretty good. I hate it when it touches my neck. It feels gross. Okay, so I pretty much got a lot of the long area done, so I'm going to put all the rest of it, check my edges again. Make sure I got it exactly where I want them. Especially the front that people are going to see and you're going to see. back your neck and then I'm going to just start dumping this stuff all over the top of my head that way I can really massage it in really well and just point it in because I'll be able to get it to go down on the rest of my hair oh shoot See, I just got it all over my shoe and all over the floor, but like I said, it doesn't sting anything, so it is what it is. I'll clean up afterwards. I do like to put the bottles upside down in the sinkhole that I have and then that way I can um, 
And then you can fold your long hair up on the top and soak in a lot of that too. You want it super saturated. Get out. Get down. There goes my cat. She's thirsty. She likes fresh water. She drinks out of the sink. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get out of here. That's the mother. She likes to purr like a raccoon. That's what she sounds like. Okay, so I think I've gotten most of it out of the bottle. Now it's time to make sure it's completely rubbed in, super thick, everywhere in your whole head. stuff you don't want to like finish your hair and then have some spot that's not done So I'll kind of pull it up into a bun, like that, smooth it all, and then here's the best trick that I love doing. Okay, so easy cleanup. Best way to do it is first wash off your hands. Wash off any out of the sink. Whoa. Then I take baby wipes. Because baby wipes are awesome. Especially when you get it all over the wall like I did. And it just wipes right up. Super fast. It's all over the place. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's all over the floor all over my shoe, on my toe. Okay, then for yourself, this is where I take a mirror so you can see the sides in the back. So I'll take the wipe and I'll go across my edges with it and clean them up. ears so you can see this is like all the extra stuff that way I've got nice clean lines that way if you've dyed some like your baby hair and stuff and you don't want that to be like kind of dyed up on your forehead you can go ahead and get that off and everybody's got hair all over them And like in your sideburns. I'll do the back and the sides with a mirror. I always do better in the back and I can't even see back there. So 
Let's see. Try to get all my neck hair, the ones that are in there, because you don't want it to like die going all the way back to your, you know, down your neck. I'm like a pretty thick spot right there. try to get my ears and one more rat just to make sure that everything is exactly where you want it Okay, so after that, then time to be a bag head. Let me go grab a bag. I just take a regular supermarket bag. I fold the edges inside out. This one, of course, has a huge hole in it. Got to get another one. That is why kittens are getting in all my bags and ripping them and climbing in them and sleeping on them. Okay, so then I start at the front and I kind of peel over the bag over top of it and smush it down like this. Let's see. And then that way there's no air getting to it. I fold it down around my ears I also look at the time so it's 10:15 so it'll be about 10:45 before I get into the shower no 40 minutes so 45 like around 10:50 smush it get all the air out and this is great using these because then you can just throw them away when you're done. I ball it up at the neck nap of my hair. And then I guess I can use this. Take a hairband or just a clip and loosely just put it on the back. That way it covers the nap of your neck too and all your edges. Don't smush your edges too much because you don't want it to come squirting out and like then it's everywhere when you just did that nice little cleanup job to it. And then I also to keep the heat in because you want to keep some heat in your hair. I'll take an old towel and I'll wrap it just around it because the towel will help insulate. I can 
get it to reach. Wait. Guess it's time for another hairband. That looks great, right? And then you just hope that nobody's coming over or stops by to see this craziness and just hair tie around that one. That way now you're insulated, you have a bag on your head, you have a towel on your head, and you're all cleaned up. So, let's see. This is what I look like with a towel on my head. And so I'm gonna pause the video right here for a minute and I'm gonna let this stuff sit and I will show you guys the final results. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so here are the final results of my fire red hair and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It turned out so good. And let's take it over into the sun a little bit so you guys can see the color. Okay, so as you can see, my scalp is clear, doesn't have any red. This is the color of it. I love it. I think it turned out really good. So, yeah, so here's the color. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, my other cat is out here meowing. But yeah, so here's the color. It's not fully dry on the scalp, but goes really well with my green eyes and my skin color. And I love it. So, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below in the description box, or sorry, please leave those in the comment box below. Um, or if you wanna know anything else about this, um, let's see, if you like this video, wanna see more videos like this, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos so you can get notified whenever I post new things. If you have any other video ideas for me, please let me know. And um, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite color is that you like to dye your hair. And, um, and if you like this color. So I will be talking to you guys soon. More videos to come. And... I guess that's about it. So you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.